What's going on guys? It's Age finally back with a brand new video after God knows how long, maybe like over a year. Today we're just gonna go hit the flea market. Uh, right now, I'm just taking my little Connor boy out. Uh, but yeah, it's the first time I'm gonna do a flea video in Texas. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff and I'll see y'all there. Also, if you couldn't tell, it's like super foggy out today. It's about 7.30ish, so hopefully the fog will clear by then. All right, see you guys there. Hey, that license plate looks like it says the baby. Now that I'm closer to it, it does it. Let's go! Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just pulled up to the flea. Hopefully we can find some good stuff today or at least some stuff that we could film. All right, found this fleas with the wolves on it, kind of sick. I be where he be. Will you be where we be when we be gone? playing like the blockbusters and stuff from these two as well pretty good price sick little custom leather bag from my girl Marilyn with the details old ass pair of skates these are kind of cool This one's crazy too. This one's cool too. Cool pieces. Something is sick. That one's 250 though. Dream Team RFT. Star Wars liquid blue. Wear on this car hard jacket. Like the contrast from the hem. Just picked up Skull Pile Supreme Bands. Uh, on the same table, my boy selling these. He doesn't do switch tricks, so his left side's all fucked up. That's crazy. And they're for sale. But maybe like the inside. Got a huge alligator plant. Asked him how much it was. He said it was $12. That's crazy. That should look good. I don't want to get it. Just found a classic pair of 23s. Thank you. 10 buckarooskies, not bad. I've never seen such an ugly looking doll. Oh, it'd be. Got a couple breakfast tacos, a little gordita, agua fresca, Jordan. Got this badass Pele Pele jacket. Oh God. With the crystals. That's tough. Three X though. Kind of tough. Got the chain stitch all around.
Just picked up this sealed All-Star Weekend 1996 San Antonio Ball. Uh, I'm looking at this. Look, Cantina Canister, Marlboro. He only wants five bucks for it. That's kind of cool. Can you see? <laughs> N64 games. This guy came up. I used to have this game. That's crazy. Perfect dark. Wave race. They sold a lot of the good ones. He had like Conkers. Never seen these before. Some sick ass Levi's denim ski pants. Ton of details on them. I also buy 686. They're lined. This pants would have been cool without the, the liner in it. But these are hard. Brand new tags. All right, so we're finally leaving the flea. Got a handful of uh, all right stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'll go ahead and go into it as soon as we get back to the cribbo. What's going on, guys? Back at the house now. Just going to show you some of the things that I picked up. First thing, uh, I got two t-shirts. Uh, this one's from my little brother. This one is just a Kiss 108 FM Jingle Bowl concert tee, I guess. Uh, lineup's kind of fucking wild, I guess. Uh, and then I also got this big tee. It's a medium, not my size, but definitely something that's easy to move. I got both of these for 35 bucks. Uh, next, I got this uh, early 2000s banger, 2004 Sick World T. Uh, you can read it if you want. But yeah, thought this shirt was cool. Definitely something somebody would wear now. It's a little edgy. Uh, I got that one for two bucks. Next, I came up on a couple of pairs of Nike shorts. First, it's a yellow one. It's a newer one on a black tag. Just thought it was a cool color. Has a little Nike hit on the bottom in white. Back pockets and front pockets. And then the second one is this uh, aqua colorway. Nice little Nike hit on the back. Purple Nike hit on the bottom. And of course, the gray tag. Or silver tag, or however you want to call it. And I got both of those shorts for $10. Uh, five dollars each basically next picked up two things from this other guy uh, first one is just personal little uh dickies 874s they're brown been needing a brown pair uh it's like one of the pants that i wear the most they're brand new with tags uh even has a little 35 dollar price tag on it he gave it to me for five bucks and then i got this vintage 80s new era Houston Rockets snapback. Little Rockets hit on the back. Show you the tag, his NBA tag. And then the old new era tag. You can see that. That's a little beat up, but for two bucks, I couldn't pass that up. So $7 for those two. Next, a little novelty item. It is a 1996 NBA All-Star uh, basketball. This is the one that they had in San Antonio. Uh, this is said to have some of the best like colorways for jerseys, the Fiesta colorway. So yeah, cool little $5 find. Uh, probably just something to display. Or, you know, now that I'm living in San Antonio, there's definitely people who love San Antonio Spurs stuff. Um, but me being a Spurs fan, I'll probably end up keeping it. And then last but not least, we got three pairs of shoes. First pair, it's old pair of Doc Martens. 
honestly they're pretty cool they're pretty chunky it's got some wear on the back leather but i think that kind of makes it look cool there's doc martin right there in the back or it's got the little dm doc martin on the front but yeah these are also in my size and they look kind of cool i put them on might keep these but yeah the the wear on the collar is kind of cool kind of gives it some character uh these were three bucks so i mean if i decide to keep them sell them either way it's a win-win Next is this pair of Cherry Air Jordan 23s, model that you don't really see too often. I remember these were going for some bread before. Uh, just a cool little nostalgic pickup. These are like $10 too, and the condition is not bad. Normally, when you see these out, like they're separating heavy. Somebody probably played ball in them, but these are in fairly good condition. If I can clean them up, probably sell these for a pretty penny as well. And then last but not least for the sneakers, I found these Supreme Vans uh, with the skull pile. Pretty popular collab. Uh, I think the dude was asking like 20 bucks and I got them down to 10, I wanna say. So yeah, 10 bucks for some skull pile Vans. These are also in my size. So uh, if I could, you know, throw them in some fits and I like them, I'll probably keep them. If not, I don't mind selling them. They're not in crazy beat condition. I mean, they're pretty used, but nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. But yeah, those were my pickups for the day. Thanks for watching and yeah, maybe I'll be making more videos. I'm not sure. This is my first one in a while. Uh, just decided out of the blue that I wanted to start making videos again. And yeah, see how it goes. Uh, I used to really like making them. And now uh, I've got some time I might do it some more. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Peace.